simple staining, negative staining, and gram staining. After completing this video, you should be able to 1. Prepare a bacterial smear from both solid and liquid cultures, and 2. Properly stain bacterial cultures using simple, negative, and gram staining techniques. Preparation of a bacterial smear from a solid culture. First, label a clean microscopic slide with the name of the bacterial species used in this exercise, today's date, and your initials. Second, place enough deionized water to fill an inoculating loop. We'll call this a loopful on the center of the slide. Third, use an inoculating needle to aseptically add a minute amount of bacterial growth to the water. Spread the bacterial suspension over the center of the slide, covering an area about the size of a quarter. Allow the smear to air dry completely. This should take 5 to 10 minutes. Finally, pass the slide with the smear on top through the flame of your Bunsen burner 3 to 4 times to heat fix the slide. The slide is now ready to use for staining. Preparation of a bacterial smear from a liquid culture just as previously done. Label a clean microscopic slide with the bacterial species name used in this exercise, today's date and your initials. Next, aseptically add two loopfuls of the culture to the center of the slide and use the loops to spread it over the slide. Cover an area about the size of a quarter. Three, allow the smear to air dry completely. This should take five to 10 minutes. And four, remember to heat fix the slide. Pass it through the flame of your Bunsen burner three to four times with the smear on top. The slide is now ready to use for staining. Preparation of a simple stain. In simple staining, the bacterial cells are stained using a basic stain to determine their size, shape, and cell arrangement. The cells are visible as dark objects against a light background. Common basic stains in the microbiology laboratory include methylene blue, crystal violet, malachite green, and safranin. To prepare a simple stain, 1. Cover the heat-fixed bacterial smear with methylene blue for 60 seconds. 2. Gently rinse the smear with deionized water for 10 seconds. 3. Blot the slide with bibulous paper to remove excess water. 4. Examine the slide under oil immersion. Preparation of a Gram Stain Gram stain is a differential stain. This technique provides not just morphological information, such as size, shape, and cell arrangement, but also separates bacteria into two groups, gram-positive and gram-negative, based on differences in the structure of the bacterial cell wall. To prepare a gram stain, one, obtain two heat-fixed bacterial smears of S. aureus and E. coli. Two, cover the smears with primary stain crystal violet for 30 seconds. If viewed under a microscope, both slides should be colored a deep purple. 3. Briefly, about 3 to 4 seconds, rinse the excess stain from the slides and drain off the excess water. 4. Cover the smears with Graham's iodine for 60 seconds. Iodine is added as a mordant, which is a chemical that serves to fix a dye in a staining process. In this case, the iodine binds with the crystal violet to create an insoluble complex within the thick peptidoglycan layer of gram-positive cells. 5. Decolorize the smears with decolorizer, a mix of 95% ethanol and 5% acetone for no more than 20 seconds. Allow the alcohol to flow over the slides until the runoff is colorless. The alcohol dissolves the lipids that are found in the outer membranes of gram-negative cells, allowing the crystal violet iodine complex to escape. 
At this point, gram-negative cells are colorless, while gram-positive cells are still dark purple if viewed under a light microscope. 6. Immediately rinse the slides thoroughly with deionized water. This is necessary to stop the decolorizing effect of the alcohol. 7. Cover the smears with safranin for 60 seconds. Safranin is a counterstain added to increase the contrast of the colorless gram-negative cells, rendering them pink. The gram-positive cells are dyed pink as well, but the darker color of the crystal violet masks the lighter color of the safranin. 8. Rinse the slides gently with deionized water to remove excess safranin. 9. Blot the slides with bibulous paper to remove excess water. And 10. Examine the slides under oil immersion. The S. aureus cells staining purple are designated gram-positive, while the staining pink E. coli cells are deemed gram-negative. Preparation of a negative stain. In negative staining, the background is stained, leaving clear cells visible against a dark background. Negative staining uses negatively charged dyes, such as nigrosine or India ink, both of which are repelled by the negative charge of the bacterial cell, but are attracted to the glass slide. Negative stain is used to determine the size, shape, and cell arrangement of a particular bacterium. One advantage seen with negative staining is a more accurate determination of the size of a bacterial cell. Because negative staining uses no heat, cell shrinkage is minimized or eliminated. To prepare a negative stain, 1. Place a single drop of nigrosine near one end of a clean microscopic slide. 2. Use a needle to disperse a small amount of bacterial cells in the dye. 3. Place a second slide in front of the drop and move the slide backward until it touches the dye, spreading the dye across the trailing edge of the spreader slide. 4. Slide the spreader slide forward, dragging the suspension of bacterial cells across it. This should result in a smear that is quite thick at one end and very thin at the other. 5. Allow the slide to air dry for 5 to 10 minutes. And 6. Examine the slide under oil immersion.